It feels like someone's going like this all the time. What? What? Oh! No. <laughs> Daniel, do you know what day it is? Wednesday? No, what, the day that this video is coming out. Oh. It's typically Saturdays, right? Yes, and? Oh. Fourth of July? Fourth of July! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I only just now realized that. Yes. Is that a problem? No, you're good, you're good. Okay. You're so good. Because this isn't going to be, you know, research into the history of these whiskeys. <laughs> we basically grabbed several of the most popular whiskeys in America according to sales, and these are American whiskeys. Okay. So uh, the most popular American whiskeys in America according to sales, because America. You just touched my hands. That was the touch of freedom. <laughs> What are we doing with said whiskeys? So there's been a bit, a bit of a hmm, community crisis. Community crisis? Yes. This rabid dispute amongst the magnificent bastards. Who, between the two of us, oh. is in fact the Ice Lord. Oh, oh yeah. We're gonna go through, we're gonna taste these most popular American whiskeys. Okay. According to sales, popular than me best, chill the hell out. Okay. According to sales, we're gonna do a blind tasting. Okay. There's a lot of stuff that goes into your interpretation, your perception of a whiskey. Absolutely, bottle, yeah, everything. Yeah, a bottle and- um, Price. You know, the, yes, all of these things. But we're gonna go in blind and we're gonna go in iced because I think the whiskey is on that most popular list according to sales, mm -hmm. I think those are more often than not designed for an on the rocks pour. Or yeah, at minimum, yeah. either that or a cocktail. So let's go through and actually consume these popular American whiskeys in the way that they were usually intended to be consumed on the rocks. Now, we're gonna figure out our blind process. Alex is gonna be pouring us stuff. We're so gonna... really we just number our glasses one through eight. This will be the one, five, one, two, done! So we're gonna dive in really quick, a little, little sip of a neat pour. All right. And see if there's something that jumps out at us that we're really hopeful kind of translates well into an on the rocks. Right, starting with one. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Two. Oof. Yeah. Mm -mm. These all taste so similar. Yeah. <laughs> Except that one. That Ooh. one stands out a little. I think I know what that is. Ooh, that's got some barrel tannin. Mm -hmm. Zing. <laughs> you gonna make it? I got distracted and I inhaled a little whiskey. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. All of these are very, very right down the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. There's no real weird outlier flavors. Whenever you're at the top of the heap in terms of sales mm -hmm. and marketing budgets and shelf space and logistically trying to move like truckloads and truckloads of whiskey, yeah. you're not coloring outside the lines. No, I mean, there is a difference across the board. Yes. But the biggest difference right. is no more than 30%. Right. And the smallest difference is like maybe under 10%. And I would, I would not say there's any one of these that has a weird outlier flavor that I haven't had in whiskey before. You know what's catching me off guard? Yeah. That the Kessler's is in here somewhere. <laughs> the Kessler's like the plastic bottle. We've never heard of it. It's mm. going to be like this really cheap thing. If going in blind though, you don't have that, that context, that reference point. It's like, well, maybe it shows up kind of high on the list. I don't know. I think it's either three or eight. Can you hear that? A little bit. Shut up! We're trying to do real work here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Quit your hard manual labor. <laughs> Let's ice them all at the same time. Well, they're gonna dilute really quick. In the I detail. know. That's why we need to move quickly. <laughs> I'm trying to win the count. But this isn't part of the competition. It is part of the competition, and I am totally go. Oh no! 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 I'm so close. <laughs> Oh, I dropped one! I had to go for the backup! No! Shit! No! <laughs> no! Oh! Dang it! Oh, I got bourbon in my eyes! I'm moving quick! Ready? No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have, this is methodical. No, I need to know! This is methodical. It's already melting! Number one. I just did that. We're gonna have 10 seconds each. I'm moving more quickly than that. We're making a goddamn video here! <laughs> this isn't actually too 
holes in the sun <laughs> drinking whiskey. Uh, there's content. There's a format that we need to kind of get. Like, right, there's still a little bit of peppery zing in that first one, but it's otherwise kind of watery and light. It's got some Jeremy uh, caramel. It's a little oily though. Mm hmm. Yeah. The second one got more herbal, but none of the peppery spice at the end. And I'm already kind of surprised at how well the bourbon's standing up to the ice. Yeah. The third one, no, it just turned sweet. Wow. That has changed the most. Yeah, so far. Sweet and like a walnutty type of deal. Four. Oh, that, that's a whole different present. The ice made these way more different from each other than they were before. Yeah. This one is very Number dry four. and tannic. Number four, it is. Uh, the barrel shows up, not so much of the sweeter vanilla flavors that, that, mm -hmm. that you typically get in a bourbon or Yum Five now. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's closer to the two. It's a little more of the herbally. It's, well, it's very. Yeah. But it's herb, but it's more herbal and more like botanical. Right. We're on six. That one sort of disappeared. It did. And maybe because we're starting to take too long. No. Move to seven, see if it's true. I think no, was, seven has character. It was basically just what's happening in six. It just yeah, it so poofs out of existence. Three and six, one got sweet and one just disappeared. Uh, seven was good. That had a little bit of caramel sweetness, but it still had some zing. Mm -hmm. I think that's my leader right now. And wait, wait. Your favorite my... got more character. I didn't like it neat. But with ice, there's some character to it now. So start putting in order your oh. favorites. Okay. I've got my order. I, got... I win! That's not the game! I won! <laughs> Guys, I won! <laughs> oh, I should have worn a hat. And I forgot sunscreen today. What does having sunburn on your scalp feel like? It feels like someone's going like this all the time. And then when you any kind of movement on it, like a hat or like, it's like, ah, it's not, it's not, it's not fun. <gasps> Can I wear my hat? You do whatever the hell you want. What was your top three? How What's about up? that? Mine was seven, two, one. Mine was two, one, four. <gasps> oh. Four was the outlier. So the two and the one okay. were both of our, in our top threes. Yep. Okay. Got it. So let's do All the right. reveal. Okay. So okay. the number two, what is number two, Alex? Jim Beam. Jim Beam. Okay. Oh, that was number one for Rex, number two for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that made the top two for yeah. both of us. So Jim Beam really stood out. So I'll, I'll only want the top three bottles. So Jim Beam, right. which really will be four bottles yeah, because we four didn't four. have some overlap. Okay. What was your number two? My number two was one. My number three was one. What's one? Uh, wild turkey. Well, yeah, turkey. of course. All okay. Right, yeah. Can I just? Can I just say? I'm really enjoying this. Right? Like a hot day, we yeah. got the ice pours. And like got this the, is yeah. a really fun episode. Yeah. Uh, my number one was seven, but your number four was seven, so, right? Uh, my number four was seven. Yeah, so let's what do seven, even though. What's seven? Woodford Reserve. Oh. See, that was my number one. Yeah, okay. All right, now what was your number three? My number three was four. Yeah, and my number four was four. Okay, so what's number four? Maker's Mark. Oh, oh, come on. I'm feeling pretty good about our top choices Yeah, we, we went in blind and we chose some good ones. Yeah. I'm glad that the ones that we enjoy with neat pours, yeah. we also enjoy on the round. You know what's funny is our top four is our top four. <laughs> right? Well, like the top four, yeah. we just put them in a different order, right. but they're definitely both of our top fours. I would agree. Okay, yeah. what's your very, very worst one? Uh, it was six. Mine was nine, so start is with it, six. Hold on, is that a nine or a six? You wrote it. That's a six. That's a six. That's a six. <gasps> we both picked six as the worst? Yeah. Wait, 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 where's my nine? Hang on, I'm just gonna confirm. Oh, we don't have a nine. No, there's no nine. There's yeah, yeah there's only eight whiskeys. There's only eight whiskeys. <laughs> <laughs> We've been drinking already. So we both picked six as the worst. What is our what was six? Our least favorite. For our palate, our preferences, you right. drink what you like, it's fine. Jack Daniels. Ja what? What? Oh! Whoa. The number Whoa. one, the number one most popular whiskey in America. That was my least favorite. Yeah, it mean, wasn't yours. Wait, I had six right here. Yes. Oh yeah, you're right. It was. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, Jack Daniels. Wah, wah, you know what? Wah. Honestly, I I like Jack Daniels a lot more in a neat pour. Yeah, I do. I wouldn't have put it last on neat pour, but on the rocks, it just disappears. There's just it disappears, but there's this weird funky note that lingers. It's not there anymore. It's well, been it's, sitting it's, too it's long. It's not a heavy-handed note that lingers. If you drop some ice in this whiskey, it's damn near invisible. If you had to chug this down, I could. Yeah, just like water. No effort. Bam, it's gone. All right, what was your next up? That's a five. Mine was uh, three. So what was five? Evan Williams. 
Oh, uh, that's Williams. surprising. I put it yeah. just at the tail end. Yeah, I, mine was second to last Devin mm. Williams. If I was going in and I knew that, I think I would have projected that yeah, a little bit higher up. Yeah. What was three? That is the Kessler. The Kessler. Kessler was second to last okay. for me. That was, this is the weird one. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was, was the, the weird... one that you said has this weird note, right? And I didn't like it, so I put it way back. And it is the one that is the most different than classic bourbon, but on the rocks, it's like this walnut note. Yeah, yeah. Which so... I, I totally agree, it's there. I just didn't like it in a bourbon. But... Your third to last, mine was eight. What was yours? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> what was eight? That's bullet. Bullet. Really? Oh, That's okay. surprising. I would have projected that higher too. It. It just gets so thinned out though. I mean, some whiskeys it really vanishes. hold up better to a big old chunk of ice in there and others they just start to get so watered down and wispy that it's hard to pick out the flavors. Is there a whiskey we haven't called out yet? Because my next one is a number five. Ah! <gasps> and I just... You know who wouldn't do that? The Ice Lord. The Ice Lord. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you know who also does that clutch move? The ice. The ice. <laughs> right, that might fair. be a good way to okay. end it. So just glass. <laughs> oh, you wish. You wish. Oh, no. That's how we were ending it, Daniel. First, we'll start off with ceremony of freedom because America. <laughs> and uh, there's something that I think on this day, mm. it is the perfect day to unveil the manifestation of whiskey eagle mooch powers and Ice Lord supremacy. You have a lot of stuff. Not a lot. Oh, oh fireworks. So. I like fireworks What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to lift these magnificent spirits to the heavens because they need to be anointed for the ultimate ceremony. Can you give me samples of... Of each one? Yeah. Yeah. And then they seal them up in the bottles. How many? Uh, just one of each? There's one represented in each of the bottles. Full? Yes. I think this may give us some lift off. Oh yeah. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm totally disproportionately uh, excited about this. That's, <laughs> this is kind of You funny. know what that looks like to me, Daniel? That uh, looks like pow, freedom. Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> hey Alex, what did we forget to do? What did we forget to do in this episode? We forgot the ad. We forgot the ad. <laughs> Who's in charge of remembering to do the ad? You. No. <laughs> All right, so what is the ad, Alex? Go ahead. This episode know. brought to you by the Wizard of Ads Partners. These yes. are marketing professionals that specialize in turning small businesses into big businesses. If you need to know more about the Wizard of Ads Partners, you can go to www.wizardofads.com. You're bad at ad reads. The only thing you have to do is remember the ad read. <laughs> nice. All right, this is our first attempt at the patriotic ice lord ceremony of whiskey spirits being lifted unto the heavens before they are used in the inaugural unveiling that will happen after this if we can get it to work you ready sure we're gonna go and find these so y'all keep an eye on where it goes freedom freedom <laughs> Well, we didn't have to find them. <laughs> One. That's good. We got two. Where'd the other bottle go? Ah, oh, here it is. You got it. It's good. I think we strapped three of them together for triple the freedom. We got baseline freedom. That's locked in. Right now, we're going for the trifecta of freedom before the actual ceremony for really important things. Are you ready? All of them. Go, 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 go! Oh, 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 you get it? Oh, there's still oh, some in yeah. there. Hold it up right. There's still some. That counts. Oh, that does count. Do we do a blend of all three? That's what we do. That's my idea. Okay. <laughs> Daniel, we have our, our spirits that have tasted upon the heavens. And now we're, we're ready for the final ceremony and the unveiling. It's a long time coming. Now, Daniel. Yeah. On the door of our world's first crowdsourced whiskey distillery brought to you by the people. You, for a long time, have been promising me a whiskey mooch spirit eagle 
of equal or better prominence than that bullshit bear of yours. It's actually been about two years, Come I here. think. Come here. You've been promising me. I think it's two years I've been promising. This is Daniel's bear. It's well crafted. Highly detailed. Once upon a time, there was an eagle. Here's what happened. The eagle was so puny and small, it dissolved into the air. It disappeared, and we're left with this. Daniel, nothing says America like watered down whiskey, cheap cigars, and fireworks. <laughs> That's the science. Here we go. I found me an American, at least I knew where I'm free. And so, since I'm American, and as America is, and America, America, I'm free. Because America, and America. you under this world was an offering of the Ice Lord's finest whiskeys. So say we ow! Ah! God damn, watch out! You dickle! <laughs> you broke my bird! Fix it with duct tape. That's right. Daniel, we need to take this bullshit off. Okay. Put this bullshit on. There we go. You right there? <laughs> Don't cry. Big eagle man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Deb, come witness the glory. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is bigger than yours. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we buck and hop. And as happy as I can be. Uh.